Okay, let's move on to final preparations. Craft the Archaea Blade Trap. Finally, the big showdown. Is everyone ready? Are you sure we should be doing this? Is it right right? for us to be returning home like this if it means letting Virgil make this sacrifice? After helping us get to this point in the first place? I appreciate your concern, but my mission has been to support you. Please, do not worry about us. You should return to your time. I... I agree with Miranda. While I was working on the Archaea Blade Trap, and doing some circuit tests with Virgil, I realized something. Their infection has probably progressed more than they realize. At this rate, it may affect their ability to control the trap. Someone needs to stay behind to help them out. That won't be necessary. Actually, after running a systems check just now, I think Chris may have a point. Currently, the odds of operational success stand at approximately 9.3%. See? I'll stay behind. I know more about programming than anyone here. Now hold up. If that's the situation, I'll stay. I lost everyone in the call. I didn't care if I made it back. But the only thing that kept me going was getting a shot at burying that thing. And I'm no Chris here, but I still know more than a thing or two about machines. That does it. I'm staying too. Well, it's like Have you lost your mind? How could you possibly contribute under the circumstances? It's true. I don't know much about machines, but I thought, you know, maybe an old timer like you might need his back crack or something. I'm... Oh, for the love of. I'm serious here. You guys mean a lot to me. Everything we've been through, no way I could leave any of you behind while I take off like that. I'll be your errand boy, whatever you need. Just let me help out with this too. Well, I can hardly leave now after that either, can I? Of course, I've been wanting to stay behind since the beginning. You guys are serious about this? From that expression, looks like you feel the same way, huh, Captain? Damn it. Virgil, what are the odds of success now? Now, the odds of success stand at 96.6%. Let's make that 100%. So you let me? No, Chris. You're going home. Why? I wanted you guys too. And for that reason, you have an important mission. What's this? A device containing data on the wormhole technology. The truth is, I was planning to take it back myself. And one day we'd find a way to rescue you and everyone else who was still here. Unlike these guys, I don't plan on spending the rest of my life here. Someday I will make it home. I place that hope in you, Chris. You're the smartest one here. I'm counting on you. The future is in your hands. Okay. Capturing the Lord of Dust will take some time. But our other enemies won't remain on the sidelines during this process. Expect wanderers to attack. Once you're fully prepared, 
Access the wormhole digger. à la fin se lancer, on va regarder une dernière fois ce qu'on peut fabriquer, alors peut-être pas au niveau des armes, mais on va réussir à récupérer quelques, quelques plans en farmant tout autour. au niveau des lances ce que je peux préparer super lance ou pas Ah, 
Déjà on pourra se battre avec, c'est déjà pas mal. Everyone, I want to thank you for your help. All right, commencing operation. Generating wormhole. We want to rethink this, now's the time. You wait until now to say that? Can you two lovebirds save it for later? <laughs> Same for you and your lectures, old man. Okay, everybody ready? sauter avec euh... If the trap is destroyed, the world cycle of destruction will only continue. It's all up to you, Captain. Pour la pression. You're almost at the defense target. Expect wanderers on a scale we've never seen. But I believe in you, Captain. I know you can do it. Lord of Dust. As an 
dissipated, wanderers have started their attack. Defend the Archaea Blade Trap. Activating the defense support ability that Chris prepared for it. Ah, mais c'est sympa ça. J'avais pas vu le dire avant. Vous allez me mettre ça en place.
Ah, on euh... Exploser mes armes. Est-ce que le jeu va être chien
mais je suis terriblement là. J'ai plus d'alcool tout simplement. Alors fabriqué. On va le laisser gentiment lui. pas de temps pour se rendre compte bon, ça, ça commence à être un peu furieusement la merde on a plus d'indication qui permettrait de Tirez-vous dessus là. Si je m'approche 
deux ils vont me tirer comme des lapins. Normal, en haut. Parce que j'aime pas ce genre de situation. Donc, ok. J'ai un gros souci mes bandages. Hein.
ingérable. la deuxième vague qui arrive. Putain, si ça arrive, ça se tue partout. de refaire plein de grenades et tout, tout le bordel.
final battle. Let's go. Dread dust infection has surpassed 70%. I can no longer acquire the target by myself. Captain, you'll have to do it for us. Aim for where its shell is thinnest. That's where it's the weakest. The railgun takes some time to reload, so keep that in mind. only one way to defeat the Lord of Dust. After running an analysis on the phenomenon we've witnessed just now, the Dread Dust didn't begin their existence as organic life. Therefore, they have no concept of death. They began as nanomachines. As long as they have no concept of their own death, they will not cease to function. I'm just gonna ask you point blank. Is there really a way to beat this thing? Yes, but before I elaborate, please listen to this. We don't have time for this shit. We don't have time for this shit. <laughs> I can almost hear Reeve when this message starts. I can empathize, because I'm sure you're still in the middle of the battle. But I need you to listen to me. This really will be my final message to you. Consider it my last will and testament. First of all, Reeve, before I continue, I have to apologize to you. We really don't have time for this. Captain, try hitting it with the railgun again. We can't... I... I let you down. I spent 30 years trying, but in the end, I couldn't get you out of that place. Let me down? No. You're Chris? Oh, gosh. I remember it like it was yesterday. That day, 30 years ago, when the captain got me to the wormhole above base camp and I made it home. But I couldn't have expected what happened next. Instead of going back to 1980, I ended up in Philadelphia in 1943, in the skies above the USS Eldridge. Wardenclyffe section hadn't been around that long, and this was the first full-blown test of the wormhole teleportation. And so I, descending from the skies, became the greatest achievement of the Philadelphia experiment. For the next several years, I was the section's little plaything. But over time, I rose to the rank of researcher and gained more influence in the section. And what supported my research was the device that you, Reeve, gave to me. I quickly became one of the leading scientists in my field. But most of my work was simply me recreating what I'd seen on the device. It wasn't because I was smarter than anyone else. I discovered absolutely nothing. 
but I was fine with that. I wasn't after fame or fortune. I wanted to atone for what I had done to all of you. Thus, the gates of hell were flung open. Though my own personal hell wasn't Dite, but back here, the reality. For 30 years, I have sacrificed everything to prepare. All these preparations for this one fleeting moment. When you hear this, the Lord of Dust will likely have already opened his door to the past. Captain, it's all up to you and the others. History, the survival of mankind, depends on whether or not you can pull this off. I'm counting on you, heroes without names. The future is in your hands. That is Good Luck's final message. Chris. Virgil, tell me something. How do we destroy this thing? There is only one way. I must become one with the Lord of Dust and reveal the concept of death to all Dread Dust. Once this has happened, fire the railgun at the Lord of Dust and me. Seth, a human being, understood death, the Dread Dust that infected him. Because it was so dependent on the properties of its host, when Seth's body was destroyed, so was the dust within him. I will do the same thing to the Lord of Dust. But Virgil, if you do that, you'll... I am ready for that. Do you even understand what death is? At the very least, I have developed my own interpretation of it. I have spent a long time with the Karen Corps, the Captain, and all of you. Journeyed with you, fought alongside you. I have realized that your existence is fragile and fleeting. And, while the dread dust was eating away at me, I became aware of a concept. An aversion to my existence coming to an end. This could even be called fear. Existence is finite. Life is precious. And death is sorrowful. Captain, is my understanding correct? Then I think we have a plan. This truly will be the final battle. The meaning of life, the reason for death, the value of existence. I will teach these to the dust. I will teach them everything I learned having to survive in this world with all of you. I am ready to do this. We leave the rest of the work to you. There is no more time. Goodbye, everyone. I designated myself as the target. You must do the rest. I truly enjoy the time we spent together. Do this, Captain. Thank you. 
pourquoi ma fille est tout de suite sans lui hein exprès de pas être dans le Enfin. Operational support program, Virgil AT9, reboot complete. Revealing the concept of death to the Lord of Dust was a success. However, I myself survived the process. Good. Though the destructive power of the railgun was extraordinary. As you can see, it could destroy me. It appears my body was built with the same materials used to construct nuclear blast shelters. According to my analysis, it was designed this way in case of nuclear war. This was quite a surprise. Also, 
the thread dust that had infected us has ceased functioning. As a result, my personalities have merged into one. So I should be able to provide you with firmer guidance from here on. Getting home may turn out to be a long paddle, but as they say, Captain, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Explain yourself. According to you, a massive wormhole would appear over Mother Base during the battle with XOF. Forgive me. It would appear I made a miscalculation. Whatever it was, I have to report this to the section. This isn't the first time you've crossed the line with your initiatives. They're going to come down on you hard, I imagine. Better prepare yourself. Fine by me. History was changed. Thank you, Heroes Without Names. And thank you, Captain. But this isn't the end. Now it's my turn to fight. I will get you all out of that place. And then, then I continue to keep watch to ensure that technology run amok cannot destroy the world again. This time, we will build a better future.